there comes a point in time in every man's life where he has to ask himself a couple of questions like, who do I impact? Who am I? What do I leave behind? Did I make the right decision? What's a good guy's a life-changing experience where we allow room for growth to embrace our masculinity, reveal our vulnerability, and take accountability while getting the perspective of others as we continue to ask the question, what's a good guy? Premiering every Monday on all streaming platforms at 8 a.m. Don Peasley knows where I'll be at. Hey, that's funny. <laughs> I like that. We uh, on all three cameras? We good? We good. Right. We live and direct with it. Yes, sir. You already know what it is, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. It's your most favorite lover, as always, Donald Peasley. Alongside of LaShawn. It's another great day. Shout out to all y'all for liking, commenting, subscribing, doing everything I do every week. We do appreciate y'all. Um, you know... Life is life and but we still here. Perseverance. You know. Still our rise. Every day still our rise, you know. We here by the grace of God. Amen. So, you know. But like I said, shout out to all y'all for liking, comment, subscribing, supporting us. People that we know that support us, people that we don't know that support us, you know, appreciate y'all. Facts. Don't um, forget to hit that like button on the YouTube. Let's get us over fifty likes this episode, maybe even more. I want to, that thousand subscribers is so close, bro. We almost there. We almost I there. I look we at it and I'm like, yo, bro, it's so close. We had 630. Day. You know. I like, we did. So, you know, we're going to keep striving. You know, tell a friend and tell a friend. Shout out to my aunts on um, Facebook that always share it. You know. <laughs> Shout out to the aunties. You know <laughs> Shout out to the aunties. Yeah, honey. Aunt Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all didn't even know the bars. <laughs> the bars is there. Um, but yeah, man, shout out to everybody supporting us, man. We support you. We support who support us. Um, the people on the socials, the Twitters, the um, Instagrams. Um, I gotta, we gotta do more liking of other people's um, content as well on the on the socials to get the algorithm together. But um, yeah, shout out to y'all. What's going on, Mister Mister LA himself? Yo, anybody ever ask you who hurt you? I mean, yeah. How you feel about that? Sometimes you gotta tell a person that's none of your fucking business. Dog. That's mad rude, bro. <laughs> Yo, that's none of your business, dog. OD that's triggering, rude. my nigga. You could OD rude. You brought me to a place I didn't want to be. It's one of those. It's one of those questions, like, "Yo, how you doing? Do you really want to know?" Because if just, I if you I, just asked me because for the if I spill out, like, nah, because it's really ticked me off the other day, man. <laughs> I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on IG, and you know, I'm always here for the uh, the Gemini slander, right? So I posted. Hate it. I posted uh, <laughs> that's, that's, that's some, something in, in regards to, you know, Gemini slander. Mm-hmm. And this woman, she hit me up and she was like, you know, um, not all Geminis are like that. I'm like, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really experienced with Geminis, mm-hmm. especially the June ones. Like, you know, and nah, they all the same. And she was like, damn, nigga, who hurt you? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> He used the B word. Who the fuck are you talking to? <laughs> I said, ma'am. Before this escalates, let's end the conversation right Nah, now. this is what I do now. I restrict people's accounts on Instagram, <laughs> so now they can't comment. No, it's not good. <laughs> they can't DM me. Or if, if they do DM me, I don't see it because it's restricted. I don't, I don't see restricted accounts. <laughs> this nigga is an asshole. But I'm like... You cutting, are you cutting people from the um, LA high for? I don't have a hive. This narrative of LaShawn having You and, and Edie got hives, bro. Yo, the last episode, mm-hmm. I was listening to the promo drop. I had to cut a lot of the things. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, Edie may have a hive, but I do not have a hive. There are people that may agree on certain things that I talk about and discuss, and they support that. But that's not a hive. I feel like a hive... It's a group of people who adore love and 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 uh, have a certain fandom. Do, do, for, did we not? Did we not for see a particular the, did, person? Did we, don't try to cover you. Did we not see the the, the comment shorty left on his own picture? We don't know what that is. <laughs> disgusting, bro. And that's one person. One that's person, one of many. <laughs> one person doesn't create a hive, you know. I don't think that's just one particular person. 
<laughs> the look is that. true, though. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, what you see is what you get. <laughs> sicko. No, but somebody to ask. Imagine somebody asked you down on the first date. <laughs> I am not a believer of the first date episodes, but if a woman asks me who hurt me on the first date, nah, you gotta go. Uh, check, please. What if? What if she asked you that because you're overly open, like you're mad vulnerable on the, on the walkthrough? And she asks, who hurt you? I would think that'd be the opposite. Like, I'm mad, cut off, distant, you know, nah, reserved. Like, no, you're, you're, you're vulnerable, and you're just telling everything that happened. Like, oh, yeah, I've been, yeah, I, you did just, let just me tell you. Let me tell you this. Mm-hmm. There was a woman I was dealing with, mm-hmm. and our first conversation was, oh, D vulnerable. Like, we, you would have thought we knew each other from, from since elementary school. Mm-hmm. And in the midst of that, I don't think I asked, or I don't think she asked who hurt me, but we realized we've been through a lot. Mm-hmm. And we, she's sharing her experience. I'm sharing my experience. <laughs> and <laughs> Did you have a break in the conversation? Like, oh, this is, I never told, like, I've never been so vulnerable with somebody so fast before. I think she said that. She said that. I think she said that. Because at that time, she's already aware of what I do. So me, me being that way to her, I don't think that would be a surprise. Mm-hmm. But I think she said that. I could be mistaken. But in the midst of that, you do realize, yo, this person has been through mm-hmm. a lot, right? Now, the challenging part of it is like, mm-hmm. damn. Mm-hmm. It's one thing to be like, who hurt you? But when you know... <laughs> Who hurt them? And the thing is, boy, do you did you sign up to be an EMT? <laughs> <laughs> boy, you want to heal somebody, dog? Man, listen. And that's is... a that's a that's a question you gotta ask yourself too. My nigga, should that person will tell you? Who hurt them? Are you there to heal that person though? Are you willing to heal that person? Knowing you're hurt too. <laughs> now, now that that may get into something else in regards to like if that is if that's the space you're mm-hmm. in because. Like I said, somebody will ask who hurt you, then what happens when you answer that question? Mm-hmm. And then what? Don't ask nobody anything you don't want the answer to. Now, who? Let me ask you a question. <laughs> I ain't trying. All right, today, I'm on one today. All right. So, um, let's say you just started dealing with this person. You're helping them heal. They're, he- they're healed now. And then everything just falls, falls, falls through. Like, everything's done after that. What you mean? Like, like done. the relationship yeah. fail? I won't How say do you feel? I won't say that in 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 I won't say that in a, like a relationship aspect, mm-hmm. but a, da- a dating. But dating. boom, I, I haven't experienced that, but I've experienced that with my women friends, mm. and I cut a lot of my women friends off because of that. So what they will do, they know my number when somebody is not treating them right, mm-hmm. and they going through the ups and downs, and they need Lashawn gives great advice and things of that nature, right? Mm-hmm. And then, you know, I could be up all types of nights listening to them cry all day, helping them. They, they, they go, he's doing this, he's doing that, blah, 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 boom, 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 right? Cool. But she goes back. She's happy again. I, I don't get a hit up. So you only know my number when you hurt. When you hurt. So you putting all that heavy burden on me, and then when you're good... Nah. <laughs> I, I haven't been nah, I've... <laughs> He's never made me this happy Yo, you just told me eight weeks You week, just told two, me that nigga cheated on you Two last days week. ago You done with this nigga now, So now when it <laughs> Crying <comes>, and stay? <laughs> crying and stay When it comes to that the Certain relationship advice <laughs> With certain people I don't even entertain it no more Because you know You're not even done It's crazy I had a friend You like just want to dump your burden on me I, my, my, my mental health is not a, is not a dump truck Mm-hmm. Like you're not gonna dump your shit on me mm-hmm. and then just go and be free. I'm not a therapist. I can nah. I can give you a number to one. <laughs> Yo, I really had a friend that that did that shit to me. Like every time, like she'll go through like su- su- suicidal thoughts. Mm. That's the point. But I'm helping her. Boom, talking to her, chopping up with her. Boom, just being there for her. Like shit's going on in my life. I put it to the side a little bit, you know, because mm-hmm. me not having this conversation with you. Could result to you doing you injuring yourself and 
in a fatal way. So, boom, that happened. We chopping it up. Now she gets better. It's mm. to the point where I don't exist anymore. Mm. I'm not hurt, but the simple fact that, like, I didn't expect anything back is that I thought we shared a bond. Like, you were vulnerable. You were vulnerable with me. I didn't, I wasn't really that vulnerable. Like, I didn't. You didn't release like, you, 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 yeah. you see how I am. Like, I, if something's really bothering me, it had to bother me so much to the point I'm talking about it, that means I couldn't hold it anymore. So, but boom, back to what I was saying. She got better. And it was like, yo, you, I don't exist anymore? Mm. Okay. Mm. Like, shit like that, I, don't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't get jiggy with that, bro. So, mm. as you can see, I don't, I have female acquaintances. I don't have that many female friends anymore. Yeah, I, I, I lowered my, them to a minimum. I lowered a, all communication like that to a minimum period. Like, t- taking on other people's stuff when I got my own things that I'm dealing with. Mm. Nah, but when she did ask me that question, no, I'm lying. Oh, I tell you, after she asked me that question, I felt some type of way. Cool, boom, cool, whatever. Then maybe a couple days later, I had a dream that my ex died. Right? Wow. And that shit, that shit shook me up. I woke up about it. Shook me up. I was like, damn. Right? I get a call the next day. From from, from said ex? Huh? From, from said ex, ex. Yup. She's in the hospital. Wow. And she had, she, she had like a particular surgery. And based off of the complications of the surgery, the doctor told her she don't know if she'll survive. So that That's shit. That's fucking wild. That bro. shit sat me down. Like, sat me all the way down. She don't even know that I had that dream. So it made me think about her and the time we spent those five years. And it's like, yo, this, this, that relationship molded me into who I am. And then it, it forced me to think, all right, the results of those set actions, how does that translate to me now in a relationship and I came to the conclusion that I won't say she hurt me but, but what I've been through I pull out no pun intended <laughs> way quicker mm-hmm. than than I normally should mm-hmm. like I I abort very fast like mm-hmm. if the block is hot I'm out I'm not you know I I'm not I'm not taking that, yo. I think it was. I don't do the what ifs. I think it was the pain that that makes you quick to quick to leave. Yeah. Like knowing, but knowing. It's not. It's not good though. It's not good that I do that. I'm, it's a. It's a defense. It's a defense mechanism. That most of, most of us have like, even when I was going through my um six months thing, like I'll deal with it for six months. It's like all right, I could potentially get hurt you and your lady it. made it past six months. Yeah, we're a year. Y'all are no, yeah, no, yeah. We've, we've been dealing with each other for a year. No, a year, like... In a relationship year? Yeah. In, like, two months? What? Yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't laugh like that again. That was, that was creepy. <laughs> wow, bro. <laughs> a year? Yeah. Has it really been a year? Yeah. Wow, time is flying. Well, you ain't announced that on the pod till, like, this year, though. What, well, relationship? Yeah. My well, man, you put me in a relationship on the podcast for us in a relationship, bro. Did I? Yeah. Is a year ago already? What, what came out around this time last year? <laughs> but yeah, so when I was going through that, it was so easy for me to, to leave a person because like, nigga, I'm not, I'm not letting this fucking person hurt me, nigga. What the fuck? The fuck I look like, bro? Mm. Letting this person embarrass me, my nigga. This nigga, Rel is so excited. <laughs> Rel was so excited when I was like that, bro. But that was, I don't know, man. I can't. Having... Dealing with multiple people and then fuck around, let somebody hurt you, bro. Somebody embarrass you, nigga. I'm good at embarrassing myself. <laughs> Why'd I put myself in that in that position, bro? Nah, I feel you. But to come to this point in time now where it's like I, I allow myself to be vulnerable with one person, my nigga. Shit. Y'all good? Y'all good? Y'all good? Nigga, bro, look at that. Be crazy. You know, said vulnerable. I don't like the word. <laughs> nah, bro. You gotta be, my nigga. You, you're vulnerable too, bro. Yeah, you, you, you allow niggas to be in your space. Ha 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 ha! He what? see he exits the door, right. but now, nah, um, so hearing that, and I'm like, I right, well, damn. You never think about 
the bad stuff like that. Death mm-hmm. like that. I don't think about people my age going. Mm-hmm. You know, I usually reserve that de- death for the older folks, mm-hmm. for people who live a long life. Yeah. Life. But to hear that, <laughs> it, it sat me down. It made me think. But then it's like, I, right, where you deal with somebody who's hurt, mm-hmm. that level of how much understanding do you give them? Because it's like, yo, you've been through some, some stuff prior to me. It has nothing to do with me, but I am in your life now. Ooh. I do want to be a part of your it's life, but I, do, I don't want to feel like, you know, because there is a learning stage where I have to learn you, right? Mm-hmm. So Does in that this, trigger you? In, in, in those moments, mm-hmm. they may be something that I'm doing unintentionally mm-hmm. that will trigger you. Now, the way you lash out... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like, might fall arms. back just because, but then I understand, like, yo, like, how delicate is that process of, like, yo, I know you're hurt. I know your past is your past. I want to I wanna, I wanna be here, but I don't want to deal with that. Mm-hmm. So it's, I, on my side, it's like, yo, I didn't sign up for this. Mm-hmm. But technically, you did, you did right? Mm-hmm. Because you, you, you're taking on another, another person's person life problems. and mm-hmm. the space and this, that, and the third. But it's like, I don't want to be go, like, yo, who hurt you? <laughs> it, it goes back. It goes back to the conversation we had about um, dealing with a woman with um, father issues. Mm. Because the same way you said that um, that example of you couldn't make the date because you, something something came up. Yeah, yeah. Like you said, I, in your mind, it's like, yo, I didn't think it was that serious. I know we had a date. I apologized. I'm gonna make up for it. Mm. In her mind, it's like, yo. It's just a, this is a, just another nigga that's gonna leave me like my dad did. That was it's too like, much. It's, yo, no, nah, no. Nah. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not me joking saying it. It's nah, like, yo, that's I'm, real, it's real shit. Like, but nah, I'm letting you know that was too much for me. Oh, like, it was too much for you. Oh, nah, I couldn't, I couldn't. Nah, but that's nah, like you, real shit. Like, you, nah, I get that, but that, that was just too heavy. It's, it's the feeling of neglect. Bro, I got a flat tire. <laughs> you flat tire? <laughs> yeah, that's the reason why I couldn't make it. Although oh, she gave you a flat tire. I said, oh, oh damn. no, 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 no. I'm never done with that. I don't know. I, I can't. I can. Police report. This. <laughs> Off the rip. Nah, it's crazy, though. A lot of people put away their trauma. So when you ask a person, like, yo, who hurt you? Like, you don't. It, I know for now, in, in retrospect, I'm thinking about it. It's like, yo, you don't know what a person's been through. You can't. So to be you can't really ask that yeah. question, bro. Because if that person lays that dirt on you, you got to look at yourself like, yo. I ain't want to hear all that shit. Don't ask nobody who hurt you if you're not if you're not willing to hear the true answer. Don't ask anybody anything if you don't want to hear the answer to it. You're not even jokingly. You know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, son. I ain't gonna front. Even when I it's crazy. People make jokes like, "Oh, y'all niggas be getting hurt in fucking sixth grade, eighth grade." Like, oh yo, yeah, 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 yeah. Or just aside, niggas really be sitting there hurt. It's like traumatizing. Nigga, when I was, I think I was in what. 11th grade, 10th grade, I, was, I had a girlfriend. Sure, he did accuse me of cheating, bro. Did you? Nah. Nigga, I was chubby, bro. I'm fucking <laughs> cheating for, nigga. <laughs> nigga. I'm happy to be with somebody right now. <laughs> nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> Shit, me. <laughs> nigga. But even that, like, that's why I'm so... I, I can't, my nigga. Just to... Dealing with somebody with trust issues, that, that alone bothers me. Mm. Being a... Growing up, like, I was accused of doing shit in my crib I didn't even do. It's, yo, you know what's crazy? It's, mm-hmm. it's one of those things where, like, when, when, when we try to get a job, right, mm-hmm. and they tell us, oh, you can't get, ex- uh, we, we can't hire you because you don't have experience. And then you keep hearing that over and over. You're like, well, how am I supposed to, to get, get experience, experience if I, get- I don't get a job, right? And how do you deal with that hurt? If you're not getting an opportunity somehow, some way to move on. So if 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 I feel like, if I feel like, okay, due to set relationship, mm-hmm. I can then know where my flaws are in like hitting the panic button really mm-hmm. quick. But I wanna I wanna overachieve that, right? Mm-hmm. I could think I could be single for a while. Mm-hmm. And think, okay, I'm I cool, I got I got over it. Mm-hmm. Until I then re into this relationship space with a woman and realize, damn, maybe I'm not as sharp as I thought I was entering this. Granted, I may be wasting a, a lot of people's time going through, mm-hmm. yo, am I ready or not for, mm-hmm. for for this for this? But at the same time, it's like, how do you then deal with mm-hmm. set hurt? 
I mean, you got therapy, you got things of that nature, you talk it out, you heal, you forgive. But until you actually get into a situation, you wouldn't know. So, perfect example. I remember, um, I said this before. Uh, I was dating a woman. Mm-hmm. She went away on vacation. Mm-hmm. And I automatically thought, oh, I think. The Amps? The yeah, she went to the Amps. Mm-hmm. Around this time last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. Yo, what a year. Yeah, 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 fast. <laughs> what a year. But um, she went on vacation. And it automatically clicked me, right. made me go back to that same. Oh, yeah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, fuck. <laughs> and I'm like, I to make an accident on my dog. That was mad funny. <laughs> the irony. <laughs> <laughs> but, but in that moment, I, I spoke to her. I'm like, Yo, like, you didn't do anything, but I realized you going on vacation. Mm-hmm. Like I never, I haven't been in that situation since that time, which mm-hmm. was almost eight years ago. Mm-hmm. So she could have easily been like, "Who hurt you? Like, why are you pressed about me?" She blah blah blah. Understanding, but she was understanding. So that may be one of the 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 ways to heal from hurt mm-hmm. is to deal with somebody who has a level of understanding of what hurt you. Mm-hmm. But also, me being able to communicate, like, yo, what I'm about to express to you, you didn't do anything, but it triggered something in me. That doesn't mean, like, yo, you can't go on vacation again by yourself. Nah, that's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is, I didn't realize that I'm still, I, that, that made me paranoid on what the future holds, if that is something that we pursue. So... In that moment, I was able to fully communicate that, mm-hmm. get the understanding, and develop a new form of trust. Because mm-hmm. that's another thing. When somebody hurts you and you healing from your healing from that hurt, to trust somebody again is the part where you take another chance. Because here I am exposing this same wound again. Mm-hmm. You know? I be damn mm-hmm. like see. Out of all the things that have ever happened to me again, mm. I don't mind having surgery on anything else except my knee. Mm. I do not want that. Not being able to walk. Knock, knock on wood, you know, and all of that stuff. If, God forbid, anything was to ever happen to me, I pray it's not this knee. Because it's like, this knee is already exposed, it's mm. opened, it's, it's been through a lot. Mm. I do not want to put this knee in jeopardy. It's the same reason why I, I will never play basketball again. I'm not taking no chances. I could probably have fun, but I literally gave up on a sport that I really love just out of the fear of never getting hurt again. And I feel like that's the same way I've been operating my relationships. Like, oh, shit. Here I am wearing my heart on my chest. (laughs) I really, right? Here, my heart on my chest and my sleeve. I'm out. And then the minute I feel like something's happening, I'm like, oh, nope, 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 not, not my heart, not my heart. I feel you. And I give the person my back. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a policy. <laughs> I'm nice with this shit. <laughs> no, but that's just that's, that's how I see it. I'm not willing to expose. I'll take TD steps, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. but I don't think I've ever been. I, but then it would suck to say that that person, mm-hmm. that particular person got the best of me. Because then, even though I feel like I've had my star moments of being somebody's significant other, that level of free loving and abundantly loving, I still think I'm abundantly loving, but I have my preservations on certain things. That's what I had a question. I had a question for you, a personal question. You, still, like, you feel like you still got it? <sighs> oh, wow, man. Mentally? Mentally? Yeah. I don't think that's something roman- romance. I don't think it's something you you lose. It's just there was a there was a uh, there was a point in time in my young life where I was just romantic just because, man. You said just just fall through. Just on that because, thing. like, you want that? Here you go. Now it's like, nah, let's do it when I feel it. Now nah, I, I just I don't know. I and it, and it's and it's more it's more of like. It's easier for me to do it with people that I'm now meeting. What's so? 
I don't know. <laughs> but honestly, is one of your trick? <laughs> <laughs> possibly. <laughs> possibly. Oh. Possibly. I, there, 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 there could be a I little. Saw, I, I think it really wants to meet shit. They got to buy a Rollies and shit. Nah, I ain't never bought nobody a Rollie. Uh, but I, I am. I, uh, but here, here's the concept, right? I, there was a part. There was a point in time where the Telfair bags mm-hmm. was out, and everybody was like, "Yo, I'm like, about to buy a shorty one for the." You know, so so when the Telfair, when I, I I was basically telling, yeah, relax, man, relax, too. Tell tell all my single guys, listen, yo, Telfair is doing the bags. Like, you know, they're literally making a bag for the for for you. Mm-hmm. So, what you should do is buy it, buy a Telfair bag. Mm-hmm. And if a lady then comes into your life, oh, you still got it in the tuck. Exactly. Hang on, bro. You a bad, you a bad man, pajama. So I'm like, yo, Telfis, Telfit. I think it was like last month or mm-hmm. when this come out two months ago, when 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 Telfit literally said for one day only, mm-hmm. we're opening up the whole store. Oh, so, mm-hmm. You know, it, it should be here around January, Dece- January. December, January. Mm-hmm. Cool. Cop one mm-hmm. and keep it in the tuck. Mm-hmm. So that let me know that I still got it because I'm thinking like I don't even need well, a. I'm gonna give y'all niggas the sauce. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, I'm the like, sauce. yo, bro, cop the Telfit bag. He was like, I don't got no shorty. So what? Prepare for one. Manifest one. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with so you. So what if, what if, what if, what if, right? Mm-hmm. What is the irony of you meeting your girl? Mm-hmm. Christmas time comes up. You already got a bag. You bro. already got, yo, bro. And then shorty, shorty's like, shorty's like, Yo, but how did you get? We wasn't even yo, a picture. No, I, I, just, I know, I know. I, yo, you see it? You see it? You see it? Yo, <laughs> not gonna lie to you. Me woulda give you some pump up. Give you some pump up. Nah, like you know what I'm saying. So, <laughs> so things like nah, that. That's <laughs> not <laughs> things like that. You already like you. Nigga say you a gift. Yes, you, you a gift from God. Yo, you see you. Yeah, bud. Were you? Yo, listen. You with a woman? <laughs> and, and, and only if you really about it. Mm-hmm. You could sprinkle a little God like, <laughs> like parsley. <laughs> be like, yo, God sent you to me. No, I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> Speaking of thinking, I still have it. I ain't gonna front. I ain't think I had it in me to be romantic in a relationship. But here's the thing, though. You ask questions. Mm. I asked. I asked shit once I first started talking. Now she didn't. Yeah. She didn't know I was. Yeah. Building that resume in my, in, yeah. my, in, my, in my notes. When I first when I first learned somebody, I always take notes. She don't. I got that shit in my fucking. I always shit. take notes. Little things that they mention. Mm-hmm. Little things that even the little things. We give you more sauce right now. I didn't even know that. Simple simple things mm-hmm. like if she if she ever mentioned like yo. Damn, I like these shoes, but I don't know what size. Because women always gonna say I don't know what size I should get them in. Oh, what's your shoe size? Mm-hmm. Eight seven depends on the shoe. Down, yeah, eight, seven, <laughs> depending on the shoe. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Simple things, or, or women, especially if she's like, there are certain women that just talk because they got a mouth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no offense, but they'll they they just talk, bro. Mm-hmm. They'll, they 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 they'll, just, they'll, they just, uh-huh. they'll say things and be like, yo, like, I really want this shoe. Not saying it so you could know, mm-hmm. they just, or, just or, it. or they be walking or they on their phone and be like, yo. I want to, uh, what's some new things well, that people are cooking with? The air fryers? Air fryers, yeah. I want an air fryer. All right. All right, bet. Write that down. Air fryer. You know what I'm saying? Cool. Just take simple notes. So, for the fellas who aren't romantic, mm-hmm. note taking gives you that advantage because... Though it is not something you're going to remember, like, I don't expect every man to look at a, a Telfair bag sale and say, you know what? Let me cop one now just for shorty in the near future. But in little things, if you iron, if you iron somebody, are you paying attention? Like, just write it down. That shit's so, that shit's simple, boy. I ain't going to talk. <coughs> Even with, um, I went, to the, I went to the outlet. Bought myself something. That's how I knew, that I, that's how I, knew I was in a relationship. Mm-hmm. I thought about this shit. This shit was jokes. Boom. I'm in Nike. Bought myself some. You know what? Let me go buy this girl a pair of white ups. Yo, white ups is the new Birkin bag. <laughs> nah, this, nah, I ain't gonna for for the low. Dumb shit is like the influencer this shoe, is, bro. Dumb shit is. At that moment, I'm like, yeah, bro, this is. And then Mills' girl was like, so. So Mills, you're not gonna buy me nothing? I just looked at the nigga. I said, well. Oops. <laughs> but now, what do you do? 
when you shower this person with gifts and then they then hurt you? Do you take your stuff back? Am I an Indian giver? You, that's what you asked me? I'm asking you a question, man. If, she, if, you if buy, that's offensive, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> yes. Certain but people. that's, that's what, what I was... Uh, raised on. So. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take that out if that is offensive. But am I... Uh, okay, so same thing with Shorty from five years, right? Uh, in the midst of her telling me that we were able to break the ice on, like, you know, after you get hit, after you hear some... News like that, the tension is like, damn, it's sad, and blah, blah, blah. But she was like, yo, um, you know, but she, I'm going to pull through. You know, I'm not worried about that. I believe in God, this, that, and the third. Oh, cool. And I was like, oh, okay, cool, blah, blah, blah. But if you go, can I get that ring back? That's what she said. <laughs> what she, she laughed. She's like, nah, you're not getting that shit back. So even, but. <laughs> I'll sneak through your window. <laughs> it, uh, it, it depends. It depends <laughs> on what she, belo- what she has. Ring. Like a ring. I want that back. Um, you propose. You propose to us. Um, I want everything back. We live in New York. I'm allowed to get that back. Know, know, your, uh, know your laws, fellas. If a, wo- <laughs> if a woman tell you that she... Uh, I don't think the wedding ring you can get back. That's what I want back. But I, I'm 1,000% confident that your engagement ring you're allowed to get back legally. Listen, much, bro. Much and engage- start suing people, bro. I'm telling aren't, you that aren't is Aren't engagement ring, rings for the low, though? Ain't that that expensive? For the low? I mean, I mean, the, 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 compared to the fucking the wedding ring. Let me tell you something we're, we're about this engagement ring concept and things of that nature. You know we're supposed to get a watch, but people don't talk about that. Men are supposed to get a watch. And that, that I, you, you hardly ever see a woman gri- get, gift him with a watch. That's crazy. But once you I gift her with an engagement dwell. ring, Sky you're supposed to get a watch. And some, some of these rings cost more than watches. That's crazy how I want a sky dweller, though. You want a sky thing? You put that. <laughs> you want me to put a ring on? You got to put a watch on this here. You know what I'm saying? So there, 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 are, there are watches that <laughs> men, men get. Uh, so start claiming your watches. <laughs> no, nah, Jay-Z should have put a, wrote a song, put a watch on it right off front. <laughs> But um, <clears throat> if she has my hoodie, mm-hmm. give me all my give me all my stuff back, bro. This as far as clothes go, there's a there's a mm-hmm. there's so much stuff I need back, bro. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> you stole my true religion jacket from 11th grade, bro. <laughs> you can't. You, oh, <laughs> <laughs> my nigga, you, see, you see how you, you see that, you see how you just triggered my hurt? <laughs> sure, you got my babe jacket. I want that back. Who? Man, I thought, look a sick head girl. Of my thing. <laughs> like yo, I hang around Cyrus too much, brother. You, you can't, you can't, you can't have my 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 clothing and I be mean, going out with the next man, bro. Can you imagine? Oh, Shorty, where you get that from? Imagine you. Yo. Imagine she using my clothes as her nut rag. <laughs> <laughs> Cleaning him up with my shit. Like good amount of money. Where you get my that shirt from, babe? It ain't nothing. It's <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing. It's nothing. Stop. No. <laughs> I, nah, I ain't gonna front. That shit just triggered some shit in my head, bro. So yeah, that's why when it comes to clothes, give me all my clothes back. I want all of that back. Uh, gifts and things of that nature, mm-hmm. I don't mind. But here is why I am like skeptical on receiving gifts. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna I'm, use that. I'm I'm gonna say, I'm, I bought you those shoes. Yes. You're not doing that to me. Yeah. Man, yeah. I wish I could buy them shit five times over. Yeah. But still. Still. Don't. Don't hang that over my head, bro. Damn. Don't hang that over my head. So you imagine got, you got to throw it SD card holder. <laughs> <laughs> That shit like $9, though. I don't fuck. <laughs> it's not even a call. Clutch. That shit was wild. Throw for yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas be having SD cards scattered everywhere, my nigga. Ever since, ever since, like, yo, out of, out of everything that mm-hmm. person's ever done for me. That was lit. That shit, that little SD card shit. Nah, that shit was clutch, clutch bro. Yeah. That shit, that shit. I still use that shit now. Nah, from the hurt that y'all went through, do you, would you ever feel like that second chance could happen? Here's how I'm going to answer this. I'm going to mm-hmm. answer this in a very particular way mm-hmm. because somehow, some way, 
He's gonna get back. I feel like th- nobody ever listens, but this will <laughs> be the one. <laughs> this will be the one, right? Uh-huh. Not facts. With her in particular, mm-hmm. I don't think so. Mm-hmm. Only because the way too, many, too much damage. No, no, I don't think so. I mean, here's what I will say. She and I'm gonna make when we do uh by that by then it will already mm-hmm. be out. But when we run back uh post breakup, mm-hmm. I'm gonna mention I'm gonna re bring up this point, right? Mm-hmm. You see how I say I pay attention to people? Mm-hmm. When we were talking mm-hmm. and she tells me about people in her past, mm-hmm. right? She always mentions how she will go on in life mm-hmm. and they'll double back and run back. Oh, you're not trying. You're not I'm me. not going to be you, on that nigga list. Nigga, you're trying to put me on that list. You're not putting me on that list. You're not putting me on that list. I feel that, you. I feel you. That, that is, that yeah. is set. She, fuck, she fucked herself over on that one. No, not even. Because she, like, she literally said it. In 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 talk. So for like example, I think when she was younger, she she overly extended herself to a guy. He didn't do her by right. He didn't do her right. By then she already moved on. The nigga came to her crib <laughs> ready to propose. <laughs> and she wasn't having it. You know what I'm saying? But if he would have did that maybe six months, seven months, eight months prior, that woman probably be a married woman, bro. So, and then she, for every one of those stories, she got like two more. So I'm like, all right, that, that's, you know, niggas realize how valuable you are and they double back and, and, and pursue you. So yeah, yeah. See, LaShawn Aileen Strauss has a black man to never I'm be a part of I'm going to prize myself, good sister. <laughs> I'm not a statistic. Even if that was the case, right? <laughs> Let's say I'm openly available. She's openly available. <laughs> Who gonna crack the first ice between that prideful f- woman and my prideful self? That would never happen. <laughs> By the grace of God, I'll make it in life without you. You gotta take. You gotta take that. You gotta uh-huh. take that. I I gotta take that. I'm not saying she gotta take that. I gotta take that. So if that's the case, nah, I don't think so. So but, would you? Would you? But I could all. I can look back at like the fi- my first initial relationship mm-hmm. and see. How much of that affected that? So would it hurt you years down the line? Yeah, but I'll eat years that. Down, years down the line thinking like, yo, that, that might be the one that got away. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm mentally so you cool So you wouldn't that. say that out loud, but you'll say it in your head. I say to all y'all niggas. <laughs> but, and that's not necessarily... But that would, that would hurt me to hear you say that. Though. That's not necessarily with her. That could be with anybody. anybody. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying no. Because, you know, I don't want... Another yeah. woman to hear that and think. think okay, yeah. right. Nah, nah, nah. So, but um, I'm okay. I'm okay with thinking that's the one that got away. So you a hard headed mother. I am. Boy. I am. I am. I am. I go from pride. Me and Miller talk about pride. <laughs> so about pride, bro. Like yo, certain shit we wouldn't do. Like the whole walking up to a person. Oh yeah, I'm not. Yo. Like, walking up a person be declined. Like yo, it it hurts you. But you gotta take that. Yo, L. let me tell you something. Let me tell you something I saw the other day. I'm driving, mm-hmm. and there's this woman with a mask on. Mm-hmm. Mask on. Trying to scoop it. And the nigga's going, oh, yo, bro, you don't know what she <laughs> look like, son. I ain't gonna first probably get the double door teeth. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be sick, bro. Bro, you don't know what shorty look like. Why are you going? It was good, beautiful. I had to yell out the window, yo, bro, you don't even know what she <laughs> look like, son. <laughs> <laughs> she laughs. Oh, <laughs> she laughs. He's embarrassed. But I kept the push. I ain't know niggas was gonna back out. <laughs> they said what you said, Cass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I literally had to. Yo, bro, you don't even know what she. Yo, bro, he was doing the most, most son. Yeah. Yo, bro, I could talk to you. Bro, you don't even know if that's a woman. <laughs> you just, <laughs> yo, you go. If that's what you went to, brother. Do your thing, brother. Even if that's the case, uh-huh. yo, bro, don't harass nobody, yo, bro. And I said, yo. But then I can't front. Mm-hmm. I can't front. I saw a picture of like an IG model mm-hmm. and she had a mask on. And I had to apologize to him. But I, <laughs> I'm like, yo, bro. <laughs> she look good with this. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. 
This nigga is sick. But but nah, in that in that in that who hurt you, I I will I say I'm fully healed because I'll revert it back to my surgery, right? Mm-hmm. I'm fully healed to play a sport. Mm-hmm. I could walk, I'm gonna be walking on my own. Take, there's 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 been the mo- there's been moments where it tightens up on mm-hmm. me and I and it, and it just feels bad. Especially with weather change, when the weather starts snow, to change, this shit, shit. this shit cramps up on me. Mm-hmm. But I'm fully healed to part. I can run. I've been working out. I do leg day. Mm-hmm. Things of all that nature. It's not, it's not in any risk of re-damaging, mm-hmm. right? Same thing with me in a relationship aspect. I am fully there. I know I can go there. But you see how I just opt out of basketball? That, that's just not a sport. Or contact sports Mm -hmm. i am not going to do that Mm -hmm. so with relationships like to say this woman's my girl and and do the public shit and make a close friends and do it throwing shots at me or something nah nah (laughs) you cyrus a lot of y'all do that bro and it's cool i get it Mm -hmm. i get it bro i trust me if anybody gets it Mm -hmm. i get it because i would have done that Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I get that. Especially in the space that we're in, where we're so vocal about everything, mm-hmm. something has to stay sacred. Mm-hmm. I get that. I'm not, that's not a shot of anything at all. But what I will say is, I'm not even there to do that. You feel me? So you don't, you're not giving yourself a time limit. You just, you're rocking N- up. No, I, huh. Because you know, you, you. I don't know if I'm waiting for like a spectrum. You're hitting that age, boy. <laughs> you're hitting that age there, boy. I got no problem being a sugar daddy, bro. <laughs> but I really want a sugar mama so bad, son. Say that, Kayla. I want, yo. I want one of my guys. He got one, and he be telling me about it. And I be like, yo, bro, can you tell her to get you the the, the lens for me? <laughs> What's this? That? <laughs> yeah, she. Her mother still living. <laughs> Yo, bro, I don't... <laughs> nigga, nigga trying to get security checks. <laughs> this, this not go, I don't mean to sound like that, but I don't mind eating no AARP <laughs> pussy for something. Most thing about the, think about to eat a powdered donut. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my favorite donut. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a sicko. I do not mind, bro. I do not mind a woman 55 and up 57, getting close to retirement that needs some sugar. I'm not going to lie to you. There's one woman on IG. She got <laughs> the gray hair flowing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you talk about. I know you talk about. And she in great shape. I have to remind from now. Watch her. So, dog. You know. The woman look nice. <laughs> she look nice. She had a little work. She doing a little workout. I yeah, said, yeah. I said, yeah. Let me change this shit. I'm getting aroused. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I say all of that to say, like, mm-hmm. if you're a sugar mama and you're looking for somebody, <laughs> <laughs> I am available, bro. They can say email me at what's a good guy at gmail.com. Nah, you can email me at my personal. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there, bro. Because, listen, what he was telling me about the things she do for him, mm-hmm. I'm like, yo... That's it. Oh, you got it. Oh, she she a one round minimum too. At that, at best, she tapping out before you even get yours. And it's what? five. It's five hundred dollars on the table for you. <laughs> I see you once a day. Yo, bro, let me tell you something. Make sure my girlfriend I watch. Maybe if we work with that thing, five hundred dollars. Nice. <laughs> let, me, let me tell you something, bro. Mm-hmm. If that ain't better than de- unemployment. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine you get unemployment in there. Oh, that nigga, making, that, nigga making a bin and getting some pussy. Boy, I don't <laughs> so, bro, I oh, don't man. mind. Yes. I don't care, bro. Because you think about it this way. I do that for a month. Mm-hmm. Show, yo, bro, where you get this money? Daddy got some new shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga's a seven dick up, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. And, and I'm pretty sure at that age, she don't even care if it's good, if it's long. And, you know, I'm going to feel bad secure. <laughs> shit, my shit could look like the road bike. <laughs> Yo, I'm a hang on front. I try my hardest to look at this shit. <laughs> it's got me so tight. Oh, shit. Nah, but yeah, bro, I, 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 I'm, I'm okay with that. But I'm, I'm, being the hard-headed person that I am, I know there is a huge possibility 
of me missing out on on a person one because my timing doesn't align with theirs mm -hmm. or uh you know I may be too stubborn or I may be too prideful mm -hmm. that's why when 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 I have those feelings I don't look to see if she's happy I you, you did say you said you do say am, blocker I am not one of those niggas who be like yo go ahead be happy if he makes you happy nah I'll eat that. I'll, <laughs> I'll eat that, bro. That my pride. Hopefully, my pride eats itself alive to the point where I'm not prideful anymore. That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> That's the science behind we it. Gotta, I got. We got to sit there and ask her, Amanda. How how do you get over shit like that? You know, I never talked to her about that. You know, I've never got like as far as like relationships and stuff mm -hmm. like that. It's never been that. We've never really tackled that. It's I've, more. It's more. It's self, all self, self. right? But that's what you did for. That's but ironically enough, right? But I, f I always figured that you know, you know how you have that that <laughs> moment of like, damn, maybe it's me. Mm -hmm. And I, I've I've had jokingly some of those moments, but maybe I should think about how I played a part because I could see the damage of. All relationships, even mm. even even the relationship with with my mom, in a sense, mm. like I don't even let her in too much. I keep her at hand's reach, and that's Speaking the same that. thing I'm doing with like m m all the women that I've encountered. I keep them at an arm's distance. I don't even, or even, or what's the worst part that I could do that I know that may hurt a woman mm. is let them in mm. and then take a step back. And it oh, it's like yo, why are you pulling me in? If you're not letting me all the way in. Like, I want to love you when I want to love you. And I know that's selfish as fuck for me to say. Like, I want to be up on under you. But when I'm ready to let go, I'm going to just let go. <laughs> I know how to give I love. I love a word, but that shit will get you tight. I know. I know, <laughs> I know how to give it. But I lost. I, I, I question. I haven't. Yes. I know how to give love, but I question when I receive it. I question it all the time. Like, yo, how long is this going to last? I know this is not a moment. I'm not even enjoying the experience of the person anymore. Mama, you spoke about um, the thing with your mother, the vulnerability with your mother. Yeah, I, that, think that, I think that's where I get my um, forgiveness from. Being, mm. being hurt by your parents is a different type of hurt. Fact. Like, certain words they use, they wouldn't... It's just like being in a relationship. Like, you'll say something to your partner that's like, yo... Oh, I didn't think it was that serious. Mm. That's how your parents probably see it. So my mom has said things to me, and I've forgiven her. Like, I'm trying to build a relationship with her, and it's like, I'm trying to put that into my relationship, my, my relationship with my significant other now. Mm. Like, forgive her on the little things that she didn't mean to do. Mm. Mm. So that's, I'm trying to heal with that right now. Open up more with my mom, my pops, with the people around me more. Like, tell, if something's wrong, I'll tell more and mm. more. But at the same time, <clears throat> I always think back at somebody using what I told them against, against me. Because yep. yep. that, that hurt is different. That's yeah. a whole different type of hurt. Like, oh, I was yeah. vulnerable to you, but you, now you using that shit as ammo? Yeah. See, me, see, me in particular, I don't, I don't speak about it unless I'm healed from it. Mm -hmm. So that way, um, that can't... So if I tell you something... So for example, mm -hmm. we'll use... That's why Shorty from five years ago hurt you. Okay, nigga, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? But at a point in time, nah, if you might say that shit, that's fucked up. If I if I've already <laughs> uh, healed from set set thing, mm -hmm. so even with the who hurt you, I wouldn't I wouldn't tell somebody that answer, mm -hmm. knowing that I'm still dealing with it, because I can't allow. So for example. Mm -hmm. My knee again, mm -hmm. right? I'm not going to play a sport if the doctor did not clear me. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to tell somebody what's hurting me or what's bothering me until I'm done with it. Because you never know what they'll do with that information. Exactly. Uh, I like, can't give you that power. That's, that's, that's about the point. Now, that may take away my level of vulnerability and shit like that. Cool, I get that. But sometimes but, you got to... Uh, I got to shield... Sometimes you... We always talk about being vulnerable. Sometimes you got to shield yourself, bro. Yeah, I got to bet on myself. I got to bet on my ability to uh, handle things the way I want to handle it. Damn. So, yeah, don't so ask. That's episode, boy. 
Don't ask nobody who hurt you <laughs> unless you're ready to hear that answer. Don't ask and if you're not, feel, don't ask somebody how they feel unless you're ready. And, and be careful. And be careful telling that, asking, asking people, people that. that. That's, just, that's that, just polite, but at the same time, nah, that's like, just wild I hope, offensive. I hope you're feeling good. That's when I when I hit you. Sometimes I don't be asking you that. I'm trying to have space to ask you. Like, yo, how you feeling today? Yeah, that's that, why I hit you today. I was like, yo, how you feeling today? And I was tired. I was tired as hell. This has been a rough, rough couple, ass week. Yeah, rough two, ass. two, three weeks. So I'm exhausted. I uh. I know what it is, though. I'll tell you off air once we're done recording. But like I said, man, still our rise. Still we rise, bro. Facts. Still pro- persevere, man. We trying to make it, we trying to, make it to where we want to be, so. Man, ain't shit going to stop us but us, man. Uh, tell them where they can follow you and all that. You already that. know what it is, man. Don the camera guy. Don Peasley. Only fans. Let me hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can follow me at Stay Focus LA on Instagram and Twitter. My Only Fans account is... Uh, here comes the pain. I knew it. I knew it. I, knew it. I told him I'm like, oh, fuck, I fucked up. <laughs> Here comes the pain. Uh, I'm going to wear a Brock Lesnar shirt. I should have said no mercy. <laughs> um, where I F5 with it all night, man. So the trick is to F5 them. If you know anything about the F5. <laughs> so she's spinning it. The- yeah, they can land exactly on my dick. <laughs> all right, your pasta is It's my fault. He don't make it to the end. <laughs> Once we do the uh, where you can follow me, he cuts it off. <laughs> but um, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to all things What's a Good Guy. If you're on What's a Good Guy dot com, you were able to hear it now. If you're on YouTube, comment, 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 like, comment, subscribe. Say something. Fire, please, fire, fire, flame, 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 yeah, flame. Yeah, do it on people's IG comments all the time. Don't, don't, flame, don't, flame, let, flame. The, uh, don't let the spam uh, YouTubers uh, comment on our stuff all day, man. Yeah, my nigga, I'm, I don't want to buy graphics, man. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. I don't, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want cover art. I don't, I don't rap that. Yeah, and I don't want a cartoon cover neither. I don't. I don't know why y'all keep following me. <laughs> I don't want people on IG. My nigga, if you're gonna like my pictures, like seven of them shits, follow me. I'm gonna post more. I need some new photos. I got. I got. I'm pending. Well, you, you, by the time you're gonna be, you're gonna have to drop them. Yeah, drop yeah. Them. Facts, facts. This should be out very soon. By the time we record this. So yeah, man, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All things What's a Good God. Thank you for listening this week. And we'll be back next week. The road to 200 is starting very soon, guys. We got a lot of things in store for that. And here we go. Stay frosty, beloved. God is good, baby. Oh, right there. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Thank you for watching What's a Good God on YouTube. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And check out some of our previous content right here on YouTube.